Hi, I'm with uh, Khushi Parekh and uh, Khushi dates for her. <laughs> I am 339 in CLAD, yes. heading to GNLU yes. and uh, feeling great. <laughs> great. It's a really good feeling. When you've worked hard for so long for something and finally getting it is, is a really nice feeling. And uh, you're the only, you prob- you're going to be the first lawyer in the family. Yes. It's like any, any close... There's no one as close to what I'm doing right now. How did this happen? Uh, it was it was just like that. I mean, everyone wanted to be an engineer or a doctor, but like none of that excited me. Okay. It was I wanted to do something except math and science. So law seemed like a better option. And I can't. So you, you don't like math? You don't you didn't like science? No. Okay. <laughs> Uh, so, so why you could have done a lot of different things. Why did you yeah. f- eventually figure out this law is that you want to do? So I kind of looked into it. I kind of uh, read a few of my friends' books who were kind of pursuing law, and it kind of did excite me. Uh, I do want to go out, become a lawyer, kind of do something different. So it seemed like a nice way. Great, and you studied hard. Yeah. You did okay. Yes. So you are. Uh, you also had quite a few. Uh, Extra girl activities. Yes. So let's count. These are all. Uh, I love dancing. I love acting. I do a lot of dramas in college. Then I really like social work. I was in my uh, uh, my college had its own NGO kind of thing. I was really active into that. I've done a lot of fest organizing in college. See that A B. So you actually uh, did go for dancing. Yeah, class. Classes in your twelfth as well. Uh, yeah, uh, earlier. Once, okay. but I did do in twelve. Um, how how did you do all these together? I, I think I think both as well. You did well. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so how did you manage all the things together? So when you study and you need an escape, this is what the other extra curricular comes. So did you make a schedule and stuff? Yeah, a very tight schedule and make sure I stuck to it as long as I. So could. tell me your schedule. I'm, I'm, I'm interested in what you said. So since I was in Xavier's, uh, it had a pretty tight attendance. I had to attend college. So college was from nine to two. So it was a. I used to go to college. I used to come home by three thirty and leave for my classes at four, four to six. I used to come home, sleep for forty five minutes, and then study till dinner time. Have dinner, uh, watch movies or something, and then study again till two, and then sleep. Two a.m. Two a.m. And what time do you, do you wake up? Eight thirty. So that's about six hours. Yeah, <laughs> six is. All right. Okay. I mean, you sleep in the train; it's fine. <laughs> okay, so that's. Uh, and so, in this preparation for the clan, uh, is there any, any, any area that troubled you during your prep and you had to put in a little more effort? Yeah, probably GK because okay. I didn't uh, start studying GK from the start like I was supposed to, like the entire faculty told me to and I didn't listen to them. So I think that was just the problem because I had to cope up all these months in the last few months. Current affairs, so that was one problem. And math because when you're not interested in one subject, you have to... So did you handle maths eventually? Or uh, yeah, I did. I used to like do an hour, hour and a half every day, last one and a half month okay. to prepare for CLAT and that's how it, it was enough. I mean, CLAT math is not, if you've done it till 10th, it's, it's fine. Okay. And uh, so for GK then eventually, what, what all uh, did you do for GK? Yeah, so I did read newspapers a lot. I uh, used to do news canvas. And as a revision for News Canvas, I used to do month and very well. And then by the end, I just ended up solving MCQs. Okay. Month and MCQs, GK Today, uh, the MCQs we got in our classes. So by the end, it was just solving, solving, solving instead of reading. Okay, so you studied a lot and then you kept on solving. Kept on solving. So that, and that really helped. Yeah, it did really Great. Help. And uh, you, you have taken all the mock tests, right? Yeah, I've taken almost all the mock tests. And that that surely that surely would have played a great role. A major role. So when you give one mock test a week, and offline was every Sunday, Correct. and then we had online throughout the weeks. Correct. So when you do a mock test in two hours, there's a time constraint. You actually solve two hundred questions in two hours, and like a whole, uh, it's a whole package. True, true. So you get an overall practice, and you keep on solving during the day whenever you get time the sectional test, the topic test. So when you keep on solving, it, it, it's all, 
and additional elements. And then you then you do the next analysis and then yes. walk towards it. Right? Yeah, the whole drill down analysis, everything was really useful. And the teachers here treated you well? Really well. Since I was in a two year batch, everything had been done twice already. Hmm. And whenever I had any uh, doubt or anything, I could just text them at any hour in the night and they would get back at, get back at me. Right, right. And uh, uh, support from your family uh, the, for your preparation? Yeah, excellent. I mean, I know my mom, she used to make me food, my coffee. If I'm starting late in the night, nobody would come disturb me. I so mean, she's like a watch, uh, watch, uh, <laughs> yeah, chalky <laughs> dar. <laughs> yes. For your prep. For, for my prep, yeah. Yeah. Uh, anyone else? Uh, you would, uh, so if, let's say if you have to give some advice to people who are taking the class next year, hmm. what two, two, three things you will you will tell them to do? Um, do? Number one, obviously, don't be stressful. It is more easier than everyone you know tells it out to be then listen to what your teachers say listen to what your friends are doing because a lot of the times when you look around you see oh my god she's prepared more i should do that much that also helps a lot don't be afraid to ask for help like if you don't know something although your teacher has done it twice go and ask it for the third time i mean there's not a problem in that and do everything on time from the start yeah so is there anything that you would have, if you're looking back, is there anything that would have changed the way you prep or? Is uh, there would... Probably, I would have been a little more regular than okay. I was. Okay. And uh, a little more, you know, paying, uh, paying concentration in the earlier months than I did in the last few months because since it's 12th, you know, the boards also count up. Correct, so correct. You have to, Jan, Feb, March, is three months you can't study for CLAT. So I could have covered that up earlier. And any plans as to, any ideas to where, what what you're going to do post your law? Are you going to take it as it comes? Uh, take it as it comes. We go with the flow. <laughs> I mean, yeah. we're just bringing, everyone's just bringing it. It's... Yeah, great, great. Thank you so much for uh, being here and all the very best. Uh, Thank you. For your journey ahead. Thank you so much. Thank you. Career Launcher. Make your parents explode with joy.